You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Welcome to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Kara Lee and Julia. If you're tired and not feeling energized or not sure what your purpose is in life, Kara Lee and Julia are here to provide information and energy to make a greater you. Now, please welcome the hosts of A Call to Heal, two powerful energy movers, Kara Lee and Julia. Hello and welcome to A Call to Heal. I'm your host, Kara Lee Schloth. And hello, everyone. I'm your host, Julia Stubbe, and you are tuned into the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And please know that we appreciate and are so grateful for each and every one of you that are listening live or to the recording. And we also really appreciate our callers, and we will be taking calls from those of you who would like us to facilitate a healing with you. So please call 855-856-1380. And if you would like further information on what Carolee and I do and what services we provide, please visit awarenessbeyond.com. And so each week we start off with guided imagery, and we do this because it's a really quick and powerful way for Julia and I to connect with you through all of our heart centers to become one, to really transfer this energy and make a difference in all of our lives. So we go through this so that we can all relax and breathe and become one. Is there anything you want to add to that, Julia, before I start it tonight? Well, I think it's really, to me, even if it's just me like doing a meditation, I do a visual in my mind and then it just takes me to a different space where I can hold a space to allow myself to heal. So that's, you know, because it's really real. It's, it doesn't, once you do it, your mind gets there and it really becomes real for your mind, which becomes real for your body and opening up that space. Does that make sense for you? Yeah, I like that. I like what you said, because many of us that are listening to the show are those kinds of kids that always sat and daydreamed, that was always imagining things. And that is how you create. And yeah, when we imagine going into these different worlds or where we imagine we're going, it's happening. So thanks for wording it that way. I really like that. Well, sometimes it comes out, right? (laughs) (laughs) Well, good. I'm grateful. (laughs) I'm grateful, too. So you want to get started with it? Yeah. So for all of you that are driving and operating heavy machinery, please don't close your eyes and please don't go into alternate realities. We're not advocating that. So for the rest of us right now that can, let's close our eyes and take a couple deep breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Really centering ourselves, breathing in again. And one more time. And now we begin to really feel ourselves within our bodies, that spirit of who we are, the consciousness beyond your ego and beyond this physical form. And we begin with our mind to connect, reconnecting spirit to body with mind. And we begin to think of Earth, because we are Earth, and we're part of Earth. And we think of all that we love about her, her mountains, her oceans, her forests. And we start to feel the love coming through our body, which is light and energy, and we send it down to her. And she begins to send that light, that energy, right up to us. And as it comes up to us, it comes right in through us, into our root, out our crown, And then it begins to circulate back into the root and up into our body in a toroidal field, which looks like an apple, keeping us connected to Earth at the same time. And our body knows the exact percentage of energies to do that. And that is continuing to run and being fueled by the heart, the generator of all the energy within our bodies. 
And now we begin to think of all that is beyond Earth, the planets, the stars, the galaxies, the suns, beyond the suns. And we begin to feel the love that we have for all that is beyond. And that energy that we're sending out through our hearts begins to come back into our crown, running down into the Earth and coming back up and running through our fields. So we have energies running up from Earth and down from the stars into your body, running perfectly as your higher self knows how to run it through that heart chakra with the perfect toroidal fetal energy of you. And this energy will continue to run and it will run perfectly. And throughout this radio show, for every minute that we're here feeling this light that we're all connected to, it will escalate that each minute, making the vibration of who you are rise. And it will do it in a really easy and graceful way. And we're just going to run those energies for a few moments, just feeling that power of who you are. And now, imagine this powerful being that you are standing beside a sacred waterfall on the side of a mountain. And the water's running down and it's thermal. It's nice and warm. And it's just splashing into a huge pool. And you just dive into that water, feeling the luxury of that running over your body. And not just your physical body, but all of your bodies healing and moving all of the energies that are stuck on you, all the dense energies, the negative thought forms, and all of the Klingon energy that you're holding. And you're just going to let it go as you swim through these waters, diving deeper into the water, releasing deeper and deeper fields of light for you. Just go to the bottom of this pool and touch the bottom, releasing the deepest energy that you're holding that's ready to go for you. And then come back to the surface and just float because you let something go. Now all of a sudden you're filled with joy and you start to notice the colorful fish swimming around you. And you're absorbing energy from them. It's their colorful rays. And they're just letting you have that gift of the light of who they are. Because on this planet, all of the beings share love. And you remember that. And you're opening to that. Letting that in. Now you just observe the perfect colors of light for you. Aiding you on your journey, your mission for why you're here. And as you're floating on the top, so filled with joy, you start to hear birds singing. And you're laughing because you know your ears are underwater, but you're hearing the birds above you. Their beautiful calls and their sounds. And the perfect amount of that sound is penetrating your energy field to release, again, more levels of density that you're holding. Because sound is so profound on healing. And you're letting that in. For that one thing that you're looking for, you're letting it go. What a beautiful gift. And now you're laughing and you want to dive down into the water again and you go down and you feel the colorful crystals at the bottom of the pool. And you know that their energy is emitting so much strength to you to allow you to open and clear, align, integrate, balance and stabilize all of your chakras, all of your meridians, organs, glands, bodies, systems and all systems within all of your bodies. And you open yourself to all this incredible healing energy feeling the change within your body in these moments and knowing that you can take how you feel exactly right now and just make a sound or say a color and know that you can just be anywhere in this reality driving in your car and say yellow and you'd be right back to the splendid feeling that you're feeling so know that and just continue to float and come to the surface of the water and begin to walk out of this pool where we will all return after we remember who we truly are. Wow, Carolee, that was awesome. Thank you so much. That was fun. Yeah, it was mu- so much fun. I really, I really, really enjoyed it. And I really got there. It was like, oh, I, my body feels so soft and light now. 
So that's what I like about all this, Julia. Like the more I'm working with people and we just feel the energy. And even if you're somebody who doesn't feel the energy yet, you will. The more that you do this, you'll feel it. And it just becomes real, more and more real because you can feel the energy leaving your body that's trapped in there. And then you're just lighter. Yeah. And what that does, it reinforces your belief, your belief program in this day of now and this moment of now. You know, because that's the whole thing is to believe that, to believe that something's happening. And if you believe, that allows you to create even more. Yeah. And if you don't believe, it's because you have programming and all these thoughts that you were taught as a kid not to believe. So you need to go in there and really, really begin to clear out this stuff so that you can live in a lighter reality. It's just more fun. And that's that's the whole thing. Like healing is not an event. It's a process. And like clearing old programming. Like for me, it's like I work on myself every day. It's like, and I go into my, my meditation and it's like, and right now it's like I'm dealing on some childhood abuse issues. So it's like, I'm actually, which is an old program. I don't know where the pain's coming from because I thought I released the program of pain, but I'm still getting some, but I just know that this is really a deep level. So it's like, okay. So instead of fighting the pain, it's like, I'm embracing the pain and I'm saying, okay, so what do I need to learn here? What do I need to let go? And I ask these questions and in some cases, my inner child will show up and I'll have a conversation with her or I'll see these programmings and it's like, oh, this, this is from this, this. And it's like, okay, I can release that fear now. But my point of the whole thing and what I'm saying is it's, it's a continuous event. It, you know, it's not an event. It's a continuous process that we must continue to do because if we pulled all the layers off at one time, we'd go completely crazy. So it's really important for us to do a layer upon layer upon layer as opposed to just ruin, pulling out our whole foundation at one time. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And it's so funny because as you're watching your world, you think, oh, I released so much and I did so much and I healed so much. I mean, like I think like that sometimes. Yeah, and then so I. I'll get thrown right under the bus because something will happen. I might say something stupid or I might do something and I'm, I don't mean to be judging that, but it'll come out that way. And then something happens and you go, whoa, look at this new thing to heal. And, and often you think, well, I already healed that. And like you said, Julia, it's a layer. It's like an onion. And yeah, we did get off a lot of the top layers, but now we're really getting down into the core of stuff. And it's going to force us to sometimes like you're saying you're going through this old energy of the abuse and all and you've already been working on it and you know and I am my own one like that that I work on and I might get with a healer and they'll say oh here's this old energy of they don't call it an old energy they'll go here's this energy of this and I go that again <laughs> because we think we've healed it and we have healed so much of it but it still goes deeper and then what I learned was it goes deeper in this lifetime but then tendrils and energies of it connect to other lifetimes and hold it there so we just keep going deeper and deeper to get rid of it and right. so and yeah it, yeah and then there's also and not to convolute what you're saying but there's the past life the different lives but there's also the different dimensions because we exist there's no that no time or space thing you know and it's like we exist on so many levels and so there's parts of us all over the place so we really have to bring ourselves together so that we can heal it as one and that gets, I just probably just, I just probably got deer in the headlight looks from a lot of people listening. I'm thinking once I said that, but it's just like, it's just not this physical body that's healing. There's, there's all, we have so many bodies to heal on different levels is what I'm trying to get, make my point. Yeah. And just even today I was doing a healing with someone and I said, yeah, I often think one of the physical things I have on my body, I have to keep clear and with diet. So I'm always running around worrying about what I'm eating, and what I'm doing. And I got crystal clear in my mind. Well, it was a message actually to stop that, that, yeah, you need to listen to some of that. And that's true. But the biggest generator of it is coming from another realm. And I was like, whoa, I got to get my head out of worrying about everything I eat and get into this other realm. And you would think, well, what doesn't Carolee know? That isn't what she preaches. Well, you got to see your own stuff's harder than seeing other people's stuff. But on top of that, you got to just wait till it's perfect for you. And when the messages come, they come. Well, on that note, we're going to take a short commercial break. And then coming up after the break, we do have a caller, I believe. But then we'll start taking other callers 
after that. And I'm your host, Julia, with Carol Lee. And we are here at A Call to Heal. And we are on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we are here to facilitate a healing for you. So please call in at 855-856-1380 and stay tuned. We'll be right back. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact a symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. And welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Carol Lee, joined today with my co-host, Julia. And you're listening to A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So we're ready to take some callers. So I think that we have Elaine online. Are you there, Elaine? I'm here. Hi. Hi, Carol Elaine. Lee. Hi, Julia. Hi. Thank Hi. you so much for calling in. We truly, truly appreciate you calling in. So what's going on? What, how can, Wait, how where's can... Elaine? We need oh. our listeners to know where Elaine's from. I'm from Birdsboro. So where do you live? Oh, Birdsboro. Awesome. Birdsboro, Pennsylvania, right, Elaine? Correct. Yes, Pennsylvania. Yes. Thank you for calling in. All right. So how can we help you tonight? What can we do for you? How can we work with you to aid you in whatever it is? Yourself. Yep. I have an issue going on with my skin for about the past six years. I don't know what to do. I've been seeing different doctors, and I'm... I don't know what else to do. My skin breaks open. My hands basically um, break open. My fingertips, my hands are so swelled, they hurt to bend them. The skin that breaks open on my fingertips, it's like raw meat. Um, I'm always putting salve on them. They itch so bad that I want to just rip the skin off my hands. I also... To take the itch out, I tried many things, but the only thing that works is hot water. Well, then I run them under hot water, and that makes them crack more. Even though I put steroid creams on them, I put um, natural creams on them, I put aloe on them, I put all different kinds of natural creams on I coconut oil, you name it. I probably been, tried it. Um, I have rashes on my face. It's kind of gone to my face, but... I don't know what else to do. I don't know what it, okay. they just itch so bad. I don't know if it's something I'm eating that I'm allergic to. I find out if I eat dairy, can't have it. It it makes them worse. But I don't know if it's something I'm touching. I don't know what it is. I just give up. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I'm getting. And remember, just before the break, I said hell. I was working with everything on the physical level with my diet. You know, so it's the same thing. Right. So yes. There are things on the physical level that are important, so I'm not dissing that. So I'm not saying, um, no, I'm not even going there. For you, there's two things going. There's two things going on on the physical level, and then there's a big thing going on on another level. Okay, so on the physical level, yeah, something you're touching is poisoning you, and on top of that, um, you're super, super sensitive. 
and things that you're ingesting, you're so sensitive that you look like translucent to me. And so everything's getting absorbed in you. So the biggest thing you can do for yourself on the physical level is go completely organic in everything that you're doing. Okay, so that's one step and you'll work your way toward that. On the other side, you give. You give, 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 give. You you give so much that you look like a sieve and the receiving isn't coming in the way that it should be for you. So this giving is making your whole body break open, your skin's breaking open. So when we talk about giving and receiving, receiving is about loving ourselves. And it can be hard for a lot of us to receive. And we might receive in one area, but not others. And so what I want you to do is I want you to just get still. And I want you to focus in on your heart. Okay. And we're just going to start bringing in pure love to yourself. And I know, Julia, that you're biting at the bit here to say what you're saying in the heart. So start saying the blockages. And as the blockages are being released, I'm going to keep flooding this intense love into you to remind you because you are a tremendous healer and you got yourself shut down. Okay? So you're ready to open. You have to give permission for this. I am ready to open. Okay. Okay, Jules. Okay, so I just would like can you just touch your elbows for a second, Elaine? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they are they a little rough too? No. They're not rough. Okay, but just just tap tap your elbow like three times and then tap your other elbow three times. And I have no idea why you're doing this. I'm just being shown to do that. Okay, okay so that – all right. So what I'm seeing is your chakras are – there's blockages. So we're just going to – we're just going to – um, I'm just going to merge with you to, to line up your chakras with you. And just feel your energy centers expanding out. And then expanding out. And remember how we connected when Carol Lee did the meditation with that toroidal field energy and that apple energy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I yeah. want you to visualize that. And I just want you to expand that out another 50 feet because you're with, I'm with you, right there with you, doing that with you. Can you feel that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what we're doing is we're going to bring in your medical team and your highest of advisors. And they're just going to come in because you have some old contracts as well that have shut down your system as far as receiving love. So there's six books there with all these contracts. Are you ready to burn these old contracts that are keeping you from receiving this love and loving yourself? I am am ready to burn them. Okay. So just light that match, baby. Okay, Carly, I'll let you take over now because I'm just I'm we're just, so, I'm just working with. I'm just looking at I'm looking at your heart, Elaine, and it is opening, but it's really, really slow. It's like um, like you're trying to open the drain, and it has six. I don't even know how to explain this, but six sh- shields that twist. And they're starting to open. So we're going to release all the vows, contracts, commitments, Texas curses, spells, and oaths, and all that have shut this. And any guardians of these vows and contracts, we're asking that you all release up into the light. And we're going to bring a beautiful column of light down around us, all of us that are listening, for all of us to release these energies. There we go. And we're going to flood with this beautiful golden light as they open. They're still, it's still stuck. There's like little things clogging it. Uh, so we're going to ask for education from the higher self. Go ahead, Joy. She has, she has three keys. She just has to present the key to, to the shields. She just has to, to hand them over and then they'll unlock. So I just want you to, Elaine, just, just see the three keys in your hand and just hold your hand out with the three keys on it to these, to these shields. And then they're, they should be opening. Do you see that, Carolee? I th- I see them yep. open. So I we don't always understand. What, yeah. So thank you for that, because we don't always understand what it all means, but we just know as we follow the process and move with the energies and see it, it does change. And and you're op- There it goes. It's opening. There it goes. Oh, I just got chills. I bet you feel. Yeah. That. My yeah. My hair standing up on my arms there. <laughs> Let that in now. So, Elaine, you're just going to start letting that in through the heart. 
Oh, and it's going to run through all your chakras. The heart is the generator of all the chakras above and below. So everything that goes on in the heart is all of it. And so we are letting this heart open. And so, Elaine, your heart is not connected to your mind. Your heart is separate from your mind. And, and in this new reality that we're moving through, we need to be connected to the mind. Are you ready to do that? I'm ready. Okay. So let's just, through the higher selves, reconnect the mind to the heart. Because you can. All you got to do is intend it. Send that up. Fully activating that reconnection that's always been there. We just shut it off 5,200 years ago in humanity. So you're just bringing it back. There you go. You're going to be the conduit now for healing for many. But here's the thing, Elaine, and this is what your higher self wants you to hear. You have been giving and giving and giving this whole lifetime as you became a young teenager. And you are not receiving. You're receiving a little. So I'm not saying you're not feeling and having joy in life and receiving. You are. But you're receiving about 20% and you're giving like 80 because we don't give 100 either way. That's what we're all working toward. So we want that to come into balance. Okay. So we're going to set the intention that you're going to be a receiver of love. And you're going to start okay. letting that into your life. Okay. okay. Yeah. And when you do this, this is the answer to your skin care. It's not about 50,000 creams. It's not about spending any more money on millions of doctors because you already did all that. It's about getting still every day. Get still and lay on the floor. If you only do 10 minutes a day, your life will change. If you can do 20 minutes a day, you wouldn't even believe it. So get still and just run the energies of love into your heart and just do that. And so for me, sometimes like life can be so busy, you know, traveling here, doing this and that. Maybe I do it in my car. Maybe I do it in the shower, but I do it. I always run the energies of love through my body, running them, running them, running joy. So get some form of letting energy in for you to receive this love and light. Okay. It's crucial. Right. It's almost like it's your wake-up call or your skin's going to turn into something else. So it's time to do it now. Okay. I can't wait till it heals. I am so over this. Yes, I know. <laughs> So All right, so what, so what I want to do is I want to do a reboot process. So oh. we're going to just, um, I kind of like look at the, the, the human body as a computer, Elaine. So okay. like with a computer, you delete all these programs and all these vows and contracts. And then what do we do? We empty the trash because the deleted items are still there. So we're going to empty the trash and we're going to run the defrag, clearing any residual. And then we're going to do a reboot, 7, 14, 21, 28, 36, 42, 49. And now we're just going to recalibrate your DNA and align all your bodies and bring this beautiful golden diamond waterfall shower and just let it permeate through all your, all your beings, all your, all your cells and all your nervous system, saturating that with divine love from both the divine masculine and the divine feminine, bringing divine balance And so, Elaine, you have a gift from your higher self coming in, and I want you to envision a golden, it looks like a Frisbee, so I'll call it a disc, but see it like a golden Frisbee disc, and you're going to place this in the heart, if you so choose, and it is an energizer of for you to receive, to learn to receive in an easier way. It's like we're living in these crazy, amazing times, and there's so much love and light coming to us from the suns for the shift that's happening. So this gift is for you now to aid you in the acceleration of who you are because you're needed right now. You're needed to touch all the people that you can at these higher level vibrations that you can heal. If you open and become that receiver, your, your life's just going to completely change so much. You're going to help so many people. I'm excited for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. So how are you feeling, Elaine? Because we're finishing up here. So how are you feeling? I feel I feel good. I had the chills going through me. So I feel awesome. great. I feel lighter. I do feel lighter. Awesome. So you want to drink lots of water and maybe get in the shower and clear all the residual, but just love yourself. That's really the message of the day, to really just love yourself and accept that love. Thank and so what that so means much. is keep, Keep bringing that love in. Keep saying every day, oh, I'm letting that love in because that's how it works. 
All right, that's 11. I will. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Good night. Okay, so we're going to take another short commercial break, and coming up after the break, we have another caller. I am your host, Julia, with Carol Lee, and we are here at A Call to Heal, and we are on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and we are here to facilitate a healing for you, and I do believe we have another spot open, so please call in at 855-856-1380 if you would like a healing facilitated for you, and stay tuned. We'll be right back. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkali, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. And welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Carol Lee, joined today with my co-host, Julia. And you are listening to A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we just had a healing with Elaine that was very powerful, and we're so grateful for her calling in. And now we have Jill. Hi, Jill. Uh, Hi, Carol Lee. Hi, Hi. Julia. Hi. Tell everybody where you're from, Jill. I'm from Birdsboro, Pennsylvania. Oh, it's, it must be a hot spot tonight. <laughs> yeah, the Pennsylvanians, yeah. So, Jill, what is it we can aid you with tonight? Is there anything we can help you with? Yes, there. I hope so. I, I have done a lot of work, you know, mirror work and such, and and try to examine what I need to bring in. And I'm I'm like flabbergasted here because. I started seeing somebody, um, his name is Roger, and I we've been seeing each other for like two months, two and a half months, and, you know, I've been just seeing him exclusively, and I don't know, sun, Sunday, it just was, I ran, you know, like I was, I got mad because he got mad and I ran. So as I'm like going inward, I'm wondering if I have, like, self-sabotage attached to me or, I mean, or am am I bringing, like, I want to get rid of any baggage I have from past relationships and such. I mean, and so I make the right decision. Does that make sense? Well, j- yes. so I'm, I'm going to tell you what happens because I'm, I'm in a, a fairly new relationship, too. And my gosh, the mirror work comes up. It's a whole new book. <laughs> Oh, my God. And I just don't want to deal. I'm like, get out. 
<laughs> yeah. So what? So what I what I yeah what I do is it's like okay so it's like I I go why is what am I feeling here because this is all about me so what am I feeling and it, you know it, there may be some self sabotage because I got a hit when you said that it's like because because what it is is you're opening yourself up to this vulnerability and it's like you really. Your your mental state says, oh, yeah, I really, really want a really good relationship. And the, the parts of you inside are going, what the heck are you thinking? <laughs> I know, right? Do I really need this, too? I... <laughs> yeah, so let's let's take a look at that. What are you seeing, Carolee? So as a, the first thing that comes up is we have a false program, and many of us do it, and we, I like to call it the Disney Princess Program. And so we believe that when we fall in love with someone, it's just going to be marvelous, and it's always going to be joy and happy, and we're never going to feel anything but joy and, and wonderfulness. And that is not how a relationship works. A relationship is like, I want you to see two flames. One side of the flame fires up and it leads the other side up. And then that side fires up and leads the other side up. And together, that's what a twin flame is. And so the only way the slide flames up is we get all annoyed and we have to look at our crap and face it and heal it and move on. So twin flaming is really a lot of work, but it also is a ton of joy at the same time. And so that illusion and that false program is what we're going to let go of for everybody that's listening. You ready to hold this? You ready to be our person, Jill? Oh, yes. Please. All right. So ready, Julia? Oh, absolutely. This is totally in the heart, guys. This is where it's been placed. So we're going into the heart. And I want you to see a fake heart within your heart. Like those Valentine hearts. Yeah. This is this heart. And it is, it is an implant. And it's fueled throughout our lifetime on this planet Earth, in, at least in the United States anyway. And we are going to let that heart just turn into liquid. And I just want you to see it coming out and just like sliding down your body on the outside of your physical form. So it's like almost like your heart's bleeding, but it's coming out in a real pretty pink color and it doesn't hurt. And it's just sliding down and you like it. It feels good. And it's going down into earth. And we're just letting it go. And it's just going to keep doing this because there's so much in there. And we're just going to let it keep going. And so what's coming out is all of the false beliefs and the false programming about someone else making you happy. Someone else giving you all that you need to feel good. Because that's all a lie. Only you can do it. And that's the whole true reality of this whole planet. And so we're letting all that go. Looking for love in all the other places. Because it comes inside ourselves. And then as we have it, we will attract lots of fun events. But we still have to see what it needs to clear. So that will always continue. Now, it doesn't mean we can't have joy and grace and ease in relationships. And sometimes we do attract a person that really wants to show us our deepest crap. And they might not be our forever partner. Because there aren't really a lot of forever partners always. And it's okay, because that's another false program. So as this heart continues to bleed, it's letting all of that go, too. All the I shoulds, all that must be, all why isn't it this ways are all leaving now. And we're releasing all of the guardians that have hold the programs in. And we're releasing all the vows, contracts, commitments, and everything through all lifetimes, past, present, future, and parallel for now in this moment in time when the three of us are able and capable of holding this energy to allow all those that are listening to release it also because they so choose it. So where I where I'd like to go, Jill, now is to go to back to your and your inner child's here, and she's seven, and it's about that abandonment issues. So I'm not really sure what happened at seven, but what it is is sometimes it's like instead of us being abandoned, it's like it's easier to run away instead of expecting us to be abandoned. So we want to you want to hold your seven year old and tell her that she's safe now. And it doesn't matter because we're going to love ourselves enough that it doesn't matter if there's somebody else there or not, because we're going to love ourselves enough. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. So let's, let's, I would like you to just bring your seven year old into your heart and just tell her, tell her how in your own words because it, d- it does have to do with abandonment. And like sometimes it's easier to run than to be left behind. Because we're the one running away as opposed to being the one being ran from. 
At first, I saw her. She was so joyful, and but now it's getting serious. I'm visualizing now, talking to her. Yeah, she was, might be a little irritated with you right now. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like she wants you to pay attention to her. So that's part of it. So yeah. so you might you might need to have a dialogue over the next couple of days or weeks with her a, a, even after tonight. So okay. I'm seeing her I in a communion you. dress. I don't know what you were raised on, but I'm seeing her in a communion dress. And so the messages that are coming through is that you have to be good. You have to listen. You have to sit still. You have to do everything that we want you to do. And when you deviated from that, you're like, kept getting squashed, kept getting squashed. So we want to bring that back to her and to you. Okay. Do you understand that? So huge. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Because you're like a bright light who likes to say things. I can see and know that. And you weren't allowed and it was just squashing you down and squashing you down and you need to be able to speak and be who you are. So let's open that up. And let's allow you to let your authentic self to shine through and let someone come into your life that loves you for being your authentic self, as opposed to you trying to be someone to please them and becoming a chameleon in that process. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So back to that inner child. Go ahead. I re- Joe, resonated with that, uh, what you said, Curly, because I did feel like that as a child. I mean, my mother, literally, if I had a dollar for every time she said, what the hell are you thinking? What makes you think like that? You know what I mean? I mm-hmm. retired. Um, I thought that really makes sense to me. All right. So that inner child is what you want to go back now. And we want to tell her that she's allowed to say anything she wants, that she's allowed to be herself. And then as you will heal that with her, you'll bring that into this world now, fully. Thank you so much. I forget. We all do. We all do. (laughs) Yeah, all the time. (laughs) Okay, so so I'm um, seeing daffodils. And so what daffodils represent is about opening up communication um, and channels as far as that goes. And it it pertains to your throat and your heart. So what I'm thinking is if you can write it out – what you're feeling and then if you feel you know get with your higher self and connect with roger's higher self and see if roger needs to understand thank you roger this is my mirror this doesn't this is about me and what triggered this and it's a possibility to open up healing for roger as well because you're his mirror and yeah yeah but if you can write it out first so that you can get it in a sentence and then you're not you're not like accusing him of anything you're saying this is what was triggered that I'm healing inside of me and I want to thank you for that and if and that might be a, a way to open up a dialogue with him and possibly get him to be able to see the mirror in himself as that he sees in you that's definitely possible with him he's open minded enough to take a look at that thank you so much Awesome. And so, Jill, they just want you to know you, they being your higher self, that a crown of flowers has been placed on your um, crown. And it's tiny, tiny pink roses, which is love. So it's really a, a energy of self-love coming to you from your higher self in an exponential wave so that it can aid you in the next steps of all that you're doing here on this planet with the biggest piece of what just happened tonight of knowing that you need to be you and that you're going to heal that part with your inner child to move forward as Jill and not what anyone else wants Jill to be but but what Jill is 
Does that make sense, Jill? Yeah, thank you. Yep. So how are you feeling now? I feel so much more at ease and relaxed. Awesome. And I actually can see me journaling. I see it. I will be journaling and talking to her. And uh, and then I will do the dialogue. I can see it all happening. Yeah, and just so like I said, a bit, right now. Yeah, these relationships, it, it just brings up a whole, like like I said, a whole new book of mirror work for us. Because for me, it was like, oh my gosh, is this really what I want to deal with? But it brings more levels of intimacy and vulnerability to be who you really, truly are. And that's really, to me, that's magical. And anyway, what a huge gift. Yeah. What a huge yeah. gift. So on that note, we're going to yeah. take another short commercial break. And then come on up after the break. We do have another caller. I'm your host, Julia, with Carolee. And we are here at A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank you, Joe. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C., Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists, and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various businesses interest through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. And welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Carol Lee, joined today with my co-host, Julia. And you are listening to A Call to Heal on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And we just had Jill, who really facilitated some tremendous inner child work for us and allowing us to release some deep programming. And now we have Michelle online. So, Michelle, are you there? I am here. Hi, ladies. How are you? We're doing really well. So, Michelle, where are you from? I'm from Reading, Pennsylvania. Okay, go ahead, Joy. Well, we want to make this quick because this is a, a, the last part of the show, so it goes quick. So tell us what we can facilitate for you. Let's get right to it. Absolutely. So I have what's called a Sjogren. It's an autoimmune disease like lupus. It's the opposite of lupus where it um, dries your wetlands. And uh, I'm, I feel that I'm much better since I've gone – you know, to healing the past year, different healing modalities, but I just want to get what is still not clearing for me to get rid of this totally. Hmm. Right away, it went to your meridian system. Um, So you know Mm -hmm. what your meridian system is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's coming from the chakras, okay. And so what it's showing me is all within the meridian system at what we would call the crossroads of the meridian systems, there's like uh, stagnation. And so the energy doesn't really run as the way that it should. So you ready Mm -hmm. to transform this and release this? I am, absolutely. All right. All right, Julia, you're, we're going to need all of the energies of this to move this. Okay, you ready? Well, what, the three yeah, of what, us. 
Yeah, but what I'm getting is her higher self has an acupuncture team. Perfect. And they're, and they're going to bring that in to help facilitate this clearing of the blockages with their acupuncture of your, your healing team. So let's let them come Wonderful. in and help and assist as well. Let's go. All right. And so we do release everything everything that's locking this in place, all vows, contracts, commitments, totally letting them go, all the guardians of them through all realities, all past, present, future, and parallel realities, now and forever, letting it go. Because okay. you know. Michelle, there's also a genetic um, belief system that these modalities don't, um, if, unless it's medical, these other modalities don't really work. So we want to delete that those programmings that are genetic yes. that are keeping you from Absolutely. that? Absolutely, yes. Okay, so let's let those go. So that amps up your belief system and what you're doing is working. There you go. And it's fully working, healing your entire being, yeah. entire cells. We're just going to delete the trash, run the defrag, do a quick reboot, recalibrate the DNA. Okay, so let's see what we see now, Carolee, now that we've gotten rid of those old beliefs and those old programs. So what I'm seeing is it was there's about two thirds of it cleared and your team saying that there's still a third that needs to be looked at. And so we're going to look at that right now. Mm -hmm. And so it's centered primarily around the internal organs of your body, not your extremities. OK, mm -hmm. so we're going to go in here with your team. And we're asking if there's anything we need to know or can we strictly release this? What I'm seeing, Carolee, is it's old um, defunct wiring that needs to be replaced with a beautiful fiber optic wiring. Let's go in and do it. And while that's happening, just release, Michelle, the false programming that it's that this isn't real because it is. It's, it's, that's all you need to do is see it and begin to let it go. I know. I know. Come with me. And it is releasing. Beautiful. So I see this beautiful um, sapphire blue light just permeating your whole being, surrounding you in a beautiful bubble. Yeah. And permeating all your all your bodies, and just letting that blue sapphire light expand out with beautiful gold diamonds and flecks of diamonds, just clearing all outside entities and all outside influences, so that. You, Michelle, are Michelle. I can feel it. So, Carolee, I'm just going to put my hands underneath her feet for now. So if you want to see what you see, because I'm seeing that she just to, to ground and to bring the energy from the earth. I'm just connecting her there that way. Okay, and Michelle, so what I'm seeing is it's time that you are going to let all this go because you have a mission, and your mission needs you to be strong and needs you to be able to move about easily and, and stay in these energies of uh, feeling good. And so this is mm -hmm. all releasing. This is all releasing now, and that blue light that Julia's seeing and that's coming in is super strong for you. And just breathe it in. And there'll be a couple moments because this is an onion peeling off where you'll be like, oh, it may not be true. And your higher self saying, play music, play music and be back in this energy because it is real and you are letting it go and you are moving forward and you are healing. Mm -hmm. You can see it. Joy and I are both seeing it in your body. Yeah, it's beautiful. So put on the music and just bring in that beautiful blue sapphire light and it, it'll know where to go for you and just and just feel it permeate you. Oh my so, gosh, I can't believe it. So it what, what we So with your feet, what what we've done is um there's this beautiful heat bomb and in this bomb is a beautiful it's actually a swirly of turquoise and pink. And I'm it's just I'm just rubbing it on your feet now to heal and that's going to permeate up through your nervous system and through those meridians to keep them clear. Okay. So that's coming from your feet up and and transferring through all your meridians. Mm -hmm. Oh my I'm gosh, seeing, it feels wonderful. 
I'm seeing that you're getting a gift of a beautiful sword, um, but it's like a lightsaber. So it's very, it looks small, like a little compact thing that you put in your hand. But as soon as you activate it, it just goes out into this brilliant, brilliant blue light. And so this energy is uh, the energy of the first ray. It's a powerful, powerful energy. And it is the energy of the warrior. And so you are a warrior. And you've been doing much in many, many lifetimes. And that is where this, you have a plague is what it was. It was old energy of a plague. And you have released Mm -hmm. that tonight. So just let it continue to go and know that you have the sword for further healing and clearing. You can put it anywhere in your body and it will burn out what's there. Wonderful. It's a really wonderful gift. All right. It so is. how you feeling? So how you feeling now, Michelle? Oh, uh, I'm feeling wonderful. I just keep, I just need to keep breathing in. I can feel all the wonderful energy inside me yes i feel much better thank you okay so one quick thing carly i'm being brought to her throat so there's a shield there that's keeping her voice from being heard so let's we just want to remove that if that's acceptable michelle yes it is yes okay letting that go Hmm. yep Okay. 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 Wonderful. All right. right. Well, thank you so much, Michelle, for calling in. And then just so you know, the three of us, when we come together, we facilitate that healing for all our listeners as well. So that's pretty awesome. You help facilitate that. So awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you both very much. I appreciate you doing this. Okay. Thank you. So, so Carly, I just wanted to say that you have um, a retreat coming up. Did you want to mention that real quick? I think you have like 15 seconds for it. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to Arkansas. If you need to expand yourself and you want to be into the crystalline energies of the ascension, Arkansas is the trip, and we're on our way there. It's a five-dayer, and if you want further information, go on my website, The Game of Earth, or awakenbeyond.com. No, it's actually awarenessbeyond.com is our I'll website. I'll be in that website. Oh. So thank you for tuning in to the BB. BBM Global Network and tune in radio and listening to A Call to Heal today. And remember, you are the radiant one. So stay heart-centered and connected to your infinite awareness. Much love to all. (laughs) You've been listening to A Call to Heal with your hosts, Carolee and Julia. Join us each week and be the best you can be on the next episode of Carolee and Julia's A Call to Heal. been listening to the bbm global network the ideas views and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas views and opinions of the bbm global network company